Hello everyone and welcome back here at Good Good Gaming. My name is Albrus and today I'll be showing you a nice little rune farming method for all you low and mid levels out there. First, what you want to do is you want to come here to the third church of America as seen on the map. Then summon your trusty steed torrent and walk behind the church. Next, get into that brown delicious looking water and wash away your sins from killing all those innocent turtles and squirrels all over Limgrave, you sick! Next, you find a teleporter, activate it and whee! Off you go! You will then be taken here. Vroosh! Grey Rolls Dragon Barrow. You turn around and there he stands. The boss who you have to fight for the next few hours in order to farm your runes. Have a great day, guys! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You have to jump on your horse, ride into the distance and never, ever look back to him. Never. Keep on riding and you'll find a golden seat here on the right. You better take it, young Tarnish. You'll need it, trust me. You keep going straight until you see that bridge here in the distance. That's basically the location where we want to go, because there is a bonfire to activate. Yes, that one there, just in front of us. Jump off your horse in your coolest style and roll to the bonfire. And this is where we start. There is the dragon you have to kill in order to farm your runes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding again. You have to go to the tiniest little enemies you can find in this area. No, not the deer here. There, see him? Yes, that's him. Backstab him in the booty and then off you are looking for your next victim. Those enemies can be very difficult to spot sometimes, so what I like to do is I smash the R3 button and I keep smashing it until my auto target locks onto someone. Mostly it's them, sometimes it's a deer. If you lock onto a deer, kill it. Of course, this is not a must-go route, this is just a recommended one, so those enemies here are scattered all over the place. Just make sure to backstab, trust me, because especially at low levels, they hit really, really hard and fast. I also highly recommend to come here with a gold-pickled fowl foot in order to boost your rune acquisition when you kill the enemies. I believe a regular one gives you 1094 if you kill him, and uh, once you use the foul foot, it will increase to 1300. So that's quite something, and it's absolutely worth it here in this area. So after killing this one, you will encounter a group of three which can be quite tricky, so I recommend coming this way exactly as seen in the video and kill off this one here first. You know, whatever way is fine, just try to pick him up one by one, because once you engage in a fight, it can get tough. They hit fast, like I said, and hard, and they can easily kill you. Also, they have a grab attack, uh, so make sure to avoid it. Once they start jumping in the air, you don't want to be where they land. So after you finish off this one here, you want to go on the other side in order to continue your slaughtering. So as you can see, if you keep killing and going that way, you will eventually make it back to the bonfire, which is basically what we're doing here. So like I said before, those enemies are scattered around the whole area. Feel free to just go and kill, feel free to follow this route. Uh, after that you want to rest from all the bloodshed, go to the bonfire and then rinse and repeat as many times as you want. And yes, I'm very well aware it's called Sight of Grace in this game. I just didn't bother.
Which yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're nearing the end of this video here. Um, if this was any helpful to you, please leave a like or a subscribe or just a comment. You know how this works. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope we can see you again next time for Let's Play Elden Ring or even another tip from my side. So, see you. Bye.